Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue with the French single missions. So today we will be doing... Do, 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 do. Did I pass it already? I must have. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. None of those. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think Guardian Angel was the last one we did, so today we'll be doing Striptease, French Mission 7. Striptease, Florence Air Base, date June 19th, local time, 0230 hours, weather clear. Mission objective, use the F-117 stealth to penetrate enemy air defenses and destroy hangars and storage structures at an enemy air base. Threat expression data, ground opposition, Colonel Sam's air opposition, possible Raphael's Mirage 2000s and Mirage 3s. So, it is just the two of us. I imagine there will be four targets. And uh, not much we can do for loadout, so let's get started. So, as per usual, we will uh, climb to our desired altitude of being way the fuck up there. There we go, 20,000 feet will probably be fairly safe. Waypoint Bravo, bearing 2 Angel 5. 30,000 feet. So far, uh, looks like we have a friendly escort this time, so... And there we are at 40,000 feet. So we'll probably do one run, because I imagine there will be enemy fighters that will try to respond to this. Uh, so we'll do one run, but we have the fighter cover, pull back up, and then, um, yeah, there's the, uh, of course being the stupid AI they are, they probably wasted their missiles on, uh, yeah, they're wasting their missiles on <laughs> the, um, the ground targets rather than the air targets. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, we won't be doing a run just yet. Whew. Oh, there's one group down. all their missiles. Otherwise, that would have been an easy victory for the Raptors. Hell, if I was flying, I bet I could take them all guns out. But, uh, yeah, it's not looking, uh, too great for, uh, for us being able to bomb the place now. They did take one set of patrols down, but I don't know if that would be enough. Oh, we lost like 4,000 feet during that uh, turn. Okay, so it's. I can hear a wingman, he's keeping pace with us. Try to slow down a bit more. Because now we're. At, yeah, they have. They do not go far out. So we got the two Mirage 2000s. And the two Raphaels, and I especially want to avoid the Raphaels. Now, what we might end up having to do, and it's a really fucking cheesy tactic, but we might just... If they had managed to take out the Mirage 2000s, this would be doable. But as it is... They get out. Uh, yeah, they only get out to 10 miles and turn back. So once we drop down, considering if we are supersonic, it would be possible, but we are not supersonic. So there's just. And they seem to be kind of flying an X pattern that goes out 10 miles from the target. So there's just not a lot of time to sneak into that blind spot. 
And then, of course, you have the Raphaels there for backup right away. All right, let's slowly turn her around. Let's cut our throttle even more. We should win the fuel consumption game since we have a efficient subsonic engine. And that, and they would have been afterburning the whole time they were engaging those Raptors, which was a fair couple of minutes. So I don't expect their fuel reserves to last too terribly long under 8x time compression. Oh, we're losing altitude. There we go. So hopefully they'll uh, be crashing soon. At least the Mirage 2000. So Raphael's, I feel a little more confident in being able to handle, but these Mirage 2000s are just right over the target, and there's no outrunning them if they catch on to us. another run of our own. Yeah, that's, uh, let's see what our current fuel reserves are at. We have 14,000 pounds of what, an original 18,000, so I think the French fighters have a relatively low fuel reserve. So, assuming they're even at the two or even three times ours, they'll be burning through theirs a lot faster, or will burn through theirs a lot faster. So, I would guess they're probably half out of fuel at least by now. So, we'll just go out to... We'll just toy ride out 75 miles from the uh, target zone, and then uh, we'll pop back and uh, see who's left. Not the most exciting footage, I know, but I just, I don't see how we can, if we had a proper target designation system that would let us dump from altitude, then it would be fine. But, well, maybe we can. My issue is that we can't see targets until they're like, uh... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, the issue here, and this is why I wasn't doing it originally, is we can't see targets until they're within, like, five miles, so we have a very short amount of time to actually select the right target. So it's one pass to basically acquire the target, another pass to drop the bomb. So if we do four passes, we could hit both of our targets, and if we're up at 40,000 feet, eh, and they're looking the wrong way, then we could maybe hit them. The issue is that uh, we still have to pitch down to actually designate the target. And normally that process of pitching down and back up makes us lose a lot of altitude. And then on top of that, only we can do these high altitude passes. Our wingman can't. He will drop down to like 10,000 feet to deliver his bomb, which will basically light him up for all the uh, hostile aircraft. Oh, what is this? I do believe they have run out of fuel. Oh, wait, no, there's a Raphael still. What are you doing? Is he landing? I think he's landing. Oh, he, that sucker's landing. Oh, it is game time. Time. All right, let's see if we can pick out our targets 
Uh, we technically are still more than five miles away, so they aren't showing up on the IR. Oh, yep, we got some crashed aircraft there. Uh, do 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 do. I think. Yep. Attack structure. Your two o'clock slow. Deploy. See, we're here for you as soon as you let your guard down. <laughs> I suppose now we can get visual confirmation that it was landing. Oh yeah, look at they're all they all lost fuel on landing approach. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> and it looks like the F-22s managed to take one out on that was uh starting up. And all the grounded aircraft. Oh, they even destroyed one of the hardened aircraft shelters. Which I think are all of our targets. And I think, uh, get out of your smoke. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, our wingmen should be hitting any second. So now we don't have to worry about keeping altitude. So we don't even have to use our wingmen, I think, for the, uh, I mean, we'll probably still give them a target just to fuck with the airport, but... I think uh, the F-22s must have used uh, their Mavericks or something. Oh. Oh man, that's a thick bomb right there. But man, that is just beautiful. <laughs> Mission designers, uh... Now... Aircraft do have the, the ability to refuel and rearm in these single missions, as we found out. Mission accomplished. I was gonna say. <laughs> Attack structure. Your we'll leave that one to our wingman, even though it's an objective. We could say we could get extra credit, and we can just get the hell out of here. That. I mean, who's gonna stop us? <laughs> Oh man, that was... Now, we, we know human aircraft, as we've seen in other single missions. Uh, human aircraft, when they land and they get the welcome home, they do get instantly refueled and rearmed, I believe. Now, I do not know if AI get that. I presume they would. So in theory, they could have, if they, the mission designers had let them successfully land, they could, in theory, have basically done touch and goes and um, basically responded to us attacking the uh, hardened aircraft shelters, but they ended up being just shy of fuel. Maybe if their engagement with the F-22s hadn't taken so long, maybe they would have made it back. Maybe, but... And certainly as someone who's toyed with the mission designer, themselves. I know, uh, I don't want to necessarily blame the designer. It can be, uh, because, I mean, there's no easy reference for how much fuel they're going to have or, you know, what their fuel oh, consumption is no. going to be, you know, in, like, a combat scenario. Like, uh, when I made that, that little F-14 tribute video where, uh, I announced the, the ISO release for, uh, Fighters Anthology. You know, those helicopters were crashing uh, well before I would have expected them to, so. Clear to land. Yeah, we have uh, maximum, maximum friction now. Maximum, maximum air resistance. And pitch up. Oh wow, this thing has a really low stall speed, so uh, as we found out just now, it's about 160 knots. Welcome home. Alright, so we'll go park ourselves, our wee man will park himself shortly enough, I imagine.
You know, this does... Amusingly, I think this is a mission you probably could take an F-22 and win. Um, if you if your Mavericks didn't malfunction and you use one each on the hardened structures, you could theoretically deal with all the air threats. And then if your wingman, if you had them hold back, which would be a little difficult, but if you get, get them to hold back till you dealt with the air defenses, you could uh, have him just drop his bomb on the lap to hardened aircraft shelters. Heck, you might even get help from the the F-22s and the X-31s if you manage to save them. Alright, so let's get into our little pad here. Wingman has already landed, so we just need to wait for him to come on over. I mean, technically, we don't have to like, wait. Uh, since I haven't used the option very much, I guess, for those who don't know, uh, when you get the we're almost home message, uh, which typically occurs when you get within about five to seven nautical miles of a friendly airbase, uh, you can actually just end the mission there, skip the landing, and the, your aircraft will count as recovered. Your uh, mission is still considered complete. Is he taking off again? Uh, he is. Your mission counts as complete, and um, I typically try not to use it. The only cases I do use it is like where my landing gear is damaged or something since uh, they don't really simulate uh, belly landings <laughs> in this game. It's if you hit the ground without your gear, it's an instant kill. So, you know, certainly the aircraft would be banged up. But I think it's possible to recover it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So, debrief. Lawrence Air Base. Date: June nineteenth. Mission: Strip tease. Resolution: Success. Congratulations, you successfully destroyed all the targets at the enemy airfield. Though none of us took any damage, we destroyed all four targets. That would have been 90 minutes real time if we hadn't time to press the whole, almost the whole time. Uh, we both have two hardened aircraft shelters to our name. We both launched two bombs and they both hit. Mine did four more points of damage. Ha 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 ha. And uh, that's about it. So, pretty cut and dry mission there, in a sense. Um... So that will leave us to the opening moves mission, I believe, next time. But until then, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time. And stay safe out there, and we'll see you then.